All right, so a decimal. Remember what a decimal is? We talked about this. Anyone, Becky, Mandy? Come on, speak up or type it in the chat. Um, I think it is like, um, it is numbers with a point. Okay, good. What the? How about I don't know the explanation what makes sense, but yeah. That's, that's okay. That's How about not the exact definition I was thinking. I am thinking it, but I don't know how to say it to you. I guess it's just like there's like three digits and then there's um a di a point at the third digit sort of. Okay, okay. That works. How about a multi-digit number? Don't know if that's the first time you guys are hearing it, but. <laughs> okay, okay, let's skip that. How about tenths? So I gave you an example at the bottom. It said 3.24 or 3.24. Which of these is in the tenths place? Yes, the tune. All right, let's look at the hundredth. At 3.24, which number is in the hundredth place? Okay, nice. I'm gonna go to the next slide and let's see. So here are the definitions of all of these four. So a definition for the decimal is the numbers after the decimal point that represent a part of the number one, right? So if you remember from the warm up, it's a one hundredth. We're trying, I'm asking you to draw one hundredth. So it represents that one part of the entire hundredth. So that fractions can be decimals. So that one hundredth as fraction can be 0 0.01 as in decimal. And for one tenth, that can be written as 0 0.1, the ones in the tenth place, or as in the hundredth in, as in a fraction, equivalent fraction, can be 10 over 100, right? But in decimal, it could be 0 0.10. That's a tens Wi-Fi. So therefore, yeah, the decimal point right there is what makes the number a decimal. Now, a multi-digit number is a number with digits in multiple place values, meaning there's numbers in, as long as there's numbers in the place values, it's called a multi-digit number. Ten. A tenth, so two is in the tenth place, yeah? Because it's a number that represents one tenth, or if you write it in equivalent fraction, ten hundredths. So in this example, two right there would be representing two tenths. So two is your numerator, ten is your denominator, or 20 over 100. Okay. And then for the hundredth place, so it would be the number, the place value after the tenth place. It would be a number that represents one over 100. So in this case, the four and the hundredth place is representing four over 100. Yes, no? Any questions? Okay. Now, here, why don't you guys write down the number according to their place values? So 31.56. Where should each number go? Is the 3 and the 31.56 in the tens place, the ones place, the tenths place, or the hundredths? place. So why don't you guys draw on it? Or you can type it too. 
So get started, guys. So we don't have, if not, we don't have enough time. So Becky, Mandy, get started. You don't have to take any notes. Emily, get started. Huh? Get started on the Pear Deck. No, don't delete it. It was it was good. Nice, nice, good. So you're just filling the numbers in to their place values. Okay, good job. Good. So now you know how to put, you know the numbers in each value. So this is similar to your warm up. Now, which number is greater? Can you circle that number, please? Now comparing your Place values. Compare compare the numbers in the place values. Which number is greater? And can you use your use your pen and circle that number? Is it thirty one point fifty six, or is it thirty one point twenty four? Okay, good. Yes. So everybody circled 31.56. So can one of you tell me why you chose 31.56? Wait, why? Which number, which place value that determines which number is bigger? Which number do you look at? The three, the one, the five, the six? Which one? Becky, which one do you look at? Okay, you guys can type in the chat if you don't. Yilin? Mm hmm okay, you look at the 10 and the 100th place. Elin, which number do you look at? What What is that specific number that you looked at? Emily, what about you? What Sorry, is my... Mm -hmm. my that specific number that made you chose 31.56 is greater? Okay, so you looked at 56, correct. That's good. So 56 is greater than 24, so therefore 31.56 is bigger than 31.24. Awesome. Let's work on the next one then. So now you can put the red dot, drag it to which number is greater. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, so it would be 4.11. Good. You can compare your models. So 4 and 4 is the same. Now you looked at the next place value 0 and 1. 1 is bigger than 0, so therefore 4.11 is much greater. Thank you. Good job. All right, next. How about 34.74 and 31.63? Which number is greater? 34.74. 